Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Angelina in the hair lounge. Today, I'm gonna talk to you all about clarifying shampoo. Some of you may not know, you actually need to use it on your hair. I'm gonna tell you why you need to use it and how to tell if it's time for you to do a clarifying treatment. Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So first, let's talk about why you need to clarify your hair. If you are someone that uses lots of product on your hair or you don't wash your hair super often, you need to use a clarifying shampoo. What it does is it removes a lot of the product buildup over time, any impurities in your water, whether that's you know well water, iron in your water, or if you take medication, medication sits on your hair. So sometimes it's good for you to use a clarifying, clarifying shampoo. So now let's talk about when you can tell you need to use it. I have quite a few clients that don't wash their hair super often and they use hairspray or gel and they're curling their hair and then spraying hairspray over the top of it for the next day and curling it again. And that creates a lot of buildup. So they start noticing their curls don't hold as well. So now it's time for them to use their clarifying shampoo. Or my clients that aren't washing every single day, you end up getting kind of a product buildup on your scalp. So maybe their hair is a little bit more dandruffy or they're noticing flaking. It's time for you to cleanse that scalp. Cause again, remember if you watched my previous video on how to properly shampoo your hair, that's a link to it right there. If you haven't watched it yet, you know that your shampoo is for your scalp. So your scalp is what needs to be cleansed. Yes, you're gonna run it through your ends and you know get things off of your hair, but really your shampoo is to really make sure your scalp is nice and healthy. So a clarifying shampoo is almost like a shampoo on steroids. So it has a lot more, it's not conditioning, it doesn't add volume, it doesn't do any of that. It's just a really, really, cleansing shampoo. So think like squeaky clean. That's gonna help remove the dandruff. So sometimes if you're noticing that you're flaking a lot more, it might be time to use a clarifying shampoo. Another thing I have clients that, you know, ask me about or tell me that they're noticing, maybe your hair is starting to look dull. Maybe you color your hair, or you bleach your hair, and you're using purple shampoo, and normally that helps brighten up those blondes. If you're noticing it's not brightening up, maybe you have purple shampoo buildup and maybe it's time to start with the clean slate and so it's time for a clarifying shampoo. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the dreaded grocery store shampoos and conditioners. I know some people use it. I'm not harping on you. Okay, I kind of am, but you are you putting wax on your hair? So for example, if you're using Suave, your hair feels super nice and silky and soft because you have a wax buildup on your hair. So someone who is wanting to, you know, curl their hair or, you know, style their hair a certain way and they're noticing it's not curling very well, it's because they have a buildup on their hair. So clarifying shampoo is gonna remove that. Hey you guys, if you're liking what you see, Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right now. That way you don't forget at the end of this video. And if you like what I'm throwing down, give me a thumbs up. Don't be shy. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have seen kind of the little videos of hairstylists or, you know, everyday people taking scissors and scraping it on their hair. So taking it on their hair shaft, let me get close so you can see, and they take it and they scrape it down their hair. And if you look at the scissors, I don't really have that much flaking on there. You normally get kind of a, a residue. So I had a tiny bit, you can kind of see that on there. I haven't washed my hair, it's wash day. But you can take your scissors and normally if someone's using Suave or Pantene or her herbal essences, you will get a lot of flaking. So let's do it again on that and really hardly anything. Kind of rub my hands. You can kind of see a tiny little dusting. But like I said, I have hairspray on my hair. Normally you get like you would if you say, you, you know, like when you're a kid and you took your finger and you dipped it in wax and then you kind of could peel it off and kind of the flaky, thicker 
pieces of wax, that's when you know you have a buildup and it's time for you to clarify your hair. So now let's talk about how you should decide which one you should use. It all depends on your hair type. So sometimes if you have curly hair and your hair is super, super drying, but you wanna make sure you're using one for your actual hair type meaning curly hair, dry hair, fine hair, whatever. Every hair company that puts out product has a clarifying shampoo. Say you use Joico. Joico has a clarifying shampoo or Kenra or Paul Mitchell. Everybody has their own line. So I would just suggest use the company that you like the best. The clarifying shampoo that I have is Care Therapy and it's just clean start. This is a super good one. I use these for my clients that I'm going to be doing chemical straightening treatment. So this removes a lot of stuff on it. So now let's talk about how often you should use it. If you have super curly hair and you're using product in your hair every single day and then you're not washing it, you may wanna clarify your hair at least once a week. Seems often, especially if you're not one to clarify your hair. But if you're not washing it super, super often, you're getting a lot of buildup on there. So I would say once a week for someone who has super curly hair that uses a lot of product. If you just let your hair air dry and you're not putting product in your hair, you don't really need to use a clarifying shampoo maybe once, twice a month. Someone like me, where I don't shampoo my hair, you know, super often I maybe do it two, three times a week and I use hairspray or hair products or you know, gel or whatever I use in my hair, dry shampoo. You probably need to do it at least once a week, maybe even twice a week, depending on your hair type. If you're a little more oily, I would suggest using a clarifying shampoo. If you're a little drier like I am, I only use it once a week. So it all depends on your hair type. So if you have questions, leave them all down below in the comment box. I can help you if you give me kind of your hair type, your hair texture, if you shampoo your hair, you know, once or twice a week. I can help guide you on how often you should be clarifying your hair. So I will suggest for all of you, do the little scissor test that I did. If you're scraping off that nasty wax off your hair, maybe you need to clarify twice in one sitting, meaning shampoo it really good, rinse it, and then shampoo again. Then always condition. Clarifying shampoo strips everything out of your hair, all the oils, all the product buildup, so you have zero moisture in your hair. So make sure you're conditioning it. Make sure you're doing like a leave-in spray. That way your hair is not feeling super, super dry. All right, you guys, that's it for the clarifying video today. I hope you guys enjoyed all my information today. Let me know if you have any questions at all. And as always, I will link my favorite clarifying shampoos down below in the description box to make it easy for you. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great one and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.